Okay, welcome to Expo and welcome to the Egyptian Pavilion. My name is Abdelaziz Hamza. I'm one of the ambassadors inside the Egyptian Pavilion. So please come with me and let me guide you inside for an amazing experience that, and how we're going to present Egypt in a new way and in a good way. What so is the please. architecture, the design of the pavilion Okay, here? it's almost just like the new gem, the Grand Egyptian Museum. We try to present it. It will open next year in Egypt and it will be the biggest museum in history for one civilization, the Egyptian civilization, and it will contain more than 50,000 pieces inside. So all the experience inside, we are presenting Egypt in a videos and a voiceover experience to give the capsule of business about Egypt in a good way in 14 minutes of videos and voiceovers. You say biggest museum in, in the, the world? In history. In history. Exactly. This is what I said and I'm sure uh, about Because uh, all the artifacts from the uh, ancient Egypt, they've all preserved and ready to be shown. Yes, exactly. And inside we'll have the biggest chamber for the King Tut with 4,600 pieces, all in gold. All it will be amazing. And uh, welcome for the whole world to come and visit the museum. Please, from May 2022, you are welcome to Egypt to visit it. So please, come inside. Uh, some of the most fascinating history, right? Um, yes, exactly. Egypt. There is a lot to talk about it inside. So please, come with me and follow and you will love it. So, this is how we call it the grand finale. Okay? Wow. It gives you the fire is dancing. It's just a final show of dancing for people after the tour. And after we start over for the tour. So uh, it's a very big uh, hall right here with a big screen. Exactly. This is the beginning and the end show on the bigger screens. And after the second show, it's on the middle screens. It's all over. It gives you an introduction about our new gym that will be 480,000 square meters. It's around 5 million and 200 square foot. So it should be very big. And to present more about it, we have these replicas of King Tut and Khamun. Because King Tut will have the biggest room inside the new museum with 4,600 pieces inside. So on the left here, we have the ceremonial chair, we have the throne chair and the coffin. The original one is made all in gold but it will be exhibited inside the new museum. Uh, so, uh, of course, it's the, the most amazing find ever when they found all the intact uh, tomb to the come, but there's so yeah, much more, right? The first time they collect all the pieces together to be only in one place and to be inside the gem, the Grand Egyptian Museum. Because it, it has been going on a tour for many years, Yes, right? but they stopped that and they said, it's finished. We're gonna make and we're gonna in put Egypt. all the pieces inside the Grand Museum in Egypt. Uh, where, which way would people go then? Okay, after this, after the this is because we entered on the Grand Finale. Yeah. The last show, the Grand Finale. People go up stairs. People the big go screens. Upstairs now, yes. People go up stairs to enjoy the rest of the tour. They have to. They have to see the mega projects of Egypt. We have an amazing 4D simulator. They have to try to call it the time machine. This is also a replica of a... This is also the replica of the mask. But we have an original coffin over there. Original? You bring yeah. it to the expo? Yes. Especially for the expo, we discovered it from the... in Saqqara place near the pyramids on 2019-2020. So please film it. Wow. And in you two minutes, I will get you a doctor. She's a specialist. Discovered recently? Yes. Whoa. So, um, uh, is Egypt the country with the most active uh, archaeologists? Exactly. And we try to present this to the whole world through our Grand Egyptian Museum. And we opened another museum just a few months ago. We call it the Museum of Civilizations. And we have a new museum in the new capital, the new administrative capital. And we have the ancient museum. So we have more than four museums that will be inside so Cairo. Cairo. Yes, inside this Cairo. is all in Cairo. 
So uh, just get a cheap, cheap ticket, there's cheap airlines, right, to fly from everywhere in Europe. Yes. Or from the whole I world. I think from Europe you have Kiwi flights and we ha you have the, the other one, I forgot the name, what the name, Jet Air and this kind of yeah. cheap flights. Affordable. Can, it's affordable to everyone. Yeah. And Egypt itself is affordable for, for everyone. Yeah. If you see the, the dollars versus the, yeah. the, the dollars and the euro, I think it's 15 and 16 Egyptian pound. So I think with 30, beginning of 45 euro, you can get a one night in a hotel, in a good hotel. You can stay in Airbnbs in the city and get an amazing you can, accommodation. You can stay in the center, you can stay near the, near the pyramids with a good price. Not with thousands of dollars. It's, it's, I think it's, it's a good price, $50, $60 or 6 euros, it's like, it's like Europe. What is uh, this room here? Okay, here we are making, as I said, we try to present Egypt in a different way. So the first thing, this is one of the amazing shows that will start and I will show it to you. We call it the tourism. It, it gave you experience of 360 about all the touristic places and the amazing places in Egypt. So it takes you to the Red Sea, it takes you to the Mediterranean Sea, it takes you to Luxor, it takes you to Aswan, to the Nubian city, it takes you also to Cairo. Wow. How do you get to all these places? Yeah, uh, that's where the people are going to go in there. No, they, they will come here, but after. Let me take you first to the first show. It will show you how Canal Suez connect, the Suez Canal connected the world together, connected the Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea. It gives you also introduction about our new free zone and logistic areas. We are Expo is the World Cup of innovation and the future and business. So we try to present Egypt in an economical way, in a business way. So what is, a, what is the business happening with Egypt? Okay, let's talk about, we have the agriculture business now. Yeah. Okay, for, exa for example in Orange, we became number one in, in, in production and exporting Orange around the world. And we become on the top 10 of grapes. And now we have one of the biggest free zone and logistic zone in the whole world. Now it's it give you an introduction about our Suez Canal, Suez Canal and how it's connect the Red Sea with the Mediterranean Sea. It's uh, crucial for all trade. Yeah, it's, everything goes through there. Yes, it's around 20, no, 19,000 ships as you see they passing from there every year. It's one of the first income for Egypt. Uh, we noticed when there was like a problem recently on the canal that the how important world. it is because yeah. everything stopped. Yes, when, when, when it's happened, the evergreen, I think, the, the evergreen boat, when it happened, everything stopped for around two weeks, I think. So it, I think we control around 25% of this movement, so it's a lot. So, and we have a new sex tunnels over there to connect in the economical way under the canal. All right. Because before it was only one, it was yeah. only one tunnel that's connecting this area together. Oh. And we have the new fish farming over there. We have, we have the extension of the new ports. We have East and West Port Said, and we have in Ain Sochn and we have in Alexandria. Okay, and now this is finished now. Let me take you to an amazing one. It gives you an amazing introduction about our new gem the Grand Egyptian Museum. So come with me, please. Now it will talk about our civilization. It will talk about how big Egypt with, his, with its civilization and the new museum. You will see that the Grand Egyptian Museum, it has the, the, same, the same exterior design of our pavilion. And if you want to know more, I have my colleague over there, she's really professional about it. Okay. Can I give her the mic? Yeah. Please, Rana, please, come please. Continue, and after the gem, continue about the gem, please. Put the mic. All right, if you don't mind. And please present it after the far, no, the other side, please. This side, thank you. So on the, on the table you have, yeah, that's okay, that's right. So, um, it's a very exciting, uh, so what do, you, what do you talk about the GEM? Uh, the GEM stands, G-E-M, stands for Grand Oh, can you have it a little bit closer, the mic, sorry. Yeah, maybe you can hold it. Or you can clip it on this that you have there. Yeah, just on the side of it. Yeah, thank you. All right. Yeah. So, the Grand Egyptian Museum would be the biggest uh, museum 
um, it all, it's also the biggest museum dimension wise and width wise height. Yeah. For the first time ever, we'd have one museum combining only one civilization, which is the Asian Egyptian civilization. Um, for example, we have Tutankhamun here, king that ruled Egypt for a very short period of time. Um, his, his pieces alone, we have 4,500 pieces that belong to Tutankhamun, which would be all combined for the first time ever in one museum only. Right, and uh, right over here, to excite people a bit, we got an original piece right straight from Egypt. This coffin belongs to a priest called Pesimtik. It's about 2,600 years, years old. What makes this coffin very special for us, for us Egyptians is that it's a very recent discovery. We've discovered this in 2020 in a place called Asakara in Egypt. Right before that, we honestly didn't know we had any artifacts left in Egypt, so we were pretty shocked. We found this coffin with 50 more in uh, Asakara. There's a, uh, I, I heard there's stuff going on with satellites where they're trying to find more and more uh, on a, like untouched archaeological that's sites. That's true, that's and true. And there's more and more coming. That's true. Right after we found this, it got us uh, more excited and more looking forward to see if there's any missing pieces anywhere in Egypt because any small piece honestly is worth millions to us Egyptians because every, we have different eras in ancient times in Egypt as well. Um, so right after we've talked about the history, we went back 2,600 years we have a show right over there that talks about the future of Egypt. We presented a few cities such as Al Galada, Al New Alamein. It's the new capital and it presents what our vision to what we want Egypt to look like in the year 2050. Uh, but uh, 2050 is far in the future, right? A lot of things are happening yeah. until then. That's true. Everything is under process now. For example, New Alamein isn't established fully, but some phases are already done. One of the things we're already completed, we have already completed, is the new monorail we have there in uh, the new capital. As well as skyscrapers. When you call about, when you talk, say it's the new capital, uh, so it's not Cairo, or is it outside Cairo? It's, it's 45 minutes away from Cairo. Cairo will still remain the capital of Egypt, but we've uh, chosen the new capital because it will rep still represent ancient times, of course, it will still represent Egypt, but through a different um, way, a different method of presenting Egypt, such as using sustainability methods and uh, creating a bigger space for uh, the millions of Egyptians living in uh, Egypt. All right. Uh, I'm not sure, but in Cairo itself we have 10 million people. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. My colleague will explain to you the uh, phase that talks about tourism in, All right. in our pavilion. All okay. right. What the hell is this? I don't know what to say. Yeah, but basically it's you. Please follow me this way, please. Hi, sir. So what's the next step that you like to talk about? Our next step is taking people inside the tourism dome. We, our aim is to um, promote for Egyptian tourism, as well as make people feel like they're just inside Egypt. If you may please join us. Excuse me, everyone. So please, can you give me space for the lady, please? So as you can see, we're inside, under the Red Sea. Basically in Hurghada. Guys, uh, step forward, please, and enjoy. Everyone, step forward. Gabal Alba. You can find it in Shalayb and Halatin near Sudan. Uh, this is the White Desert. And here we are at Giza seeing viewing the three pyramids. at Lotser at 
another temple. Currently we are in Aswan, at the Nile River specifically. This is also another scenery from Aswan. Right now we are at Khan uh, al-Khalili. It's a really popular uh, road inside Egypt in Cairo. We look forward to welcoming you. Finally, we Egypt. look forward to welcome you in Egypt. All right. So nice. right now we're going to head for our last show, the grand finale on the big screen. Uh, it showcases people, our future vision of the future, how the new capital would be. Uh, and uh, what goes on on the other floors upstairs? What goes on upstairs? Upstairs we have a culture area, an agriculture area. It talks about our future uh, projects in agriculture and the new energy. We also have a time machine. It's a 4D simulator. You travel back about 2500 years BC. And then you pass through the timeline that Egypt passed through until the future. And we have a bird's eye view. It showcases Egypt from above and also a statue of the guardian angel of the King Tutankhamun. What's the symbolic of this fire dance? Uh, it's just it cool. This is how we started our history from the beginning. Everything starts with fire, water and land. as crucial now as it did thousands of years ago. Yes. The Nile is still all the agriculture holding up needs the water. The especially the flooding helped with the land and the plantation. And then here we are imagining Egypt in the future. Yes, they're going to check the first floor, right. where it's a self-guided tour, yep. uh, enjoying the uh, time machine, the new pro knowing more about our new project. Are you busy here now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll try but to. I'll lead you to my next colleague, and then yeah. I'll come. Yeah. Let's, let's see if the next colleague up, upstairs. in process no to design and build all this prepare for the expo it's a big yeah. project it is, it is a big project it took a lot of effort and it actually came well right now i'm going to introduce yeah. you to my next colleague who's going to help you throughout the tour all right can you yeah okay 
straight here? Uh, in the middle. Ah, just straight there. Look into the second queue type. So the second floor, or the first floor actually, is a yeah. self-guided tour. Uh, everyone can have access to all the screens we have for more information about each section. We start here from the culture of Egypt, where we speak about literature, arts, music, cinema, uh, customs and traditions, uh, religions, and many more. And they're all touch screens, uh, so people touch. And yeah, you can just use all the screens around for more information about each section. So here we have culture, literature, arts, and many more sections and music as well. Nice. And then the next next section is, we have here the well-being of Egypt. The well-being of Egypt, here we speak about education, health, sports, yeah. uh, women of Egypt, legislation, and many more. As well, wow. you can use the screens for more information. So inside, uh, hey. here, we have the time machine. It's a unique experience that takes you in time from the past to the future of Egypt. Uh, it's a simulator. You can just stand right here, please. Just right there. It will yeah. start in a minute. Everything is going to move and shake? Yeah, the, it, it will be moving. 360 video. Um, it's an amazing experience. Everyone will love it, especially the kids. Once it is empty, you can sit in the It's just like... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys ready? Excuse me, how do I... Yeah, it's not really necessary to have the seat belts. Let me do it for you, sir. This uh, was uh, designed, built by company who prepared everything. That's the United Group company. And its engineer, Hazem Hamada, uh, and his company who developed and engineered everything. The future of Egypt. Starting from the very beginning, discover and experience a land's remarkable past, present, and future. I hope you enjoy the ride. Machine. That's fun. <laughs> That's cool. It is. It's just a so it's, uh, yeah. So it's a. Uh, yeah. It's a. That was the sign machine. Uh, everyone loves it. Everyone is coming and asking for it. And then the next se the next sections will be we have here mega projects. So uh, these projects here are just like meant to um, um, develop, improve the economy in Egypt. Uh, they are the projects. Lo local manufacturing of what, for example? Uh, many things. We have actually on the screens we have. Uh, like a glance about some of the uh, some of the things, some of the um, uh, like many various things, initiatives about the health, 
Uh, some has to do with the agriculture, some has to do with the trading in Egypt. And the big screen we have here, the mega, um, excuse me, the iconic figures in Egypt in the past hundred years. In different sectors and different um, fields of Egypt, we have in music, we have in sports, we have um, in science, in physics, a lot of things. Squash champion. Everything, yes. Yeah. So this is the mega projects in the modern time. And here we have, excuse me, the, that's the iconic figures. And here's the iconic figures in the old time, in the ancient time of Egypt. We have Amhotep, we have Hatshepsut, we have Father Antonius, father of the monks, and as well we have Akhnaton, King Akhnaton, of course. And then we move on to the agriculture area. Yeah. So in the agriculture area, we speak about the development that we are just running uh, currently in Egypt especially in agriculture, especially in wheat. Egypt is the most producing, most consuming country in the whole world when it comes to wheat. And what we are aiming by the development that we have is increasing the agriculture area. Uh, just reach by 2030 the self-sufficient so that we will not import anything or import any wheat from outside. Uh, are you planning to use, for example, solar with the solar. desalination exactly. plants and exactly. pumping a bunch of water everywhere? Yes, yes, and, and as well use the desert to make the agriculture area bigger and bigger for different things as well. Because Egypt has so much sun. It is. And this is a free power. That absolutely, yes, absolutely. So you, how much are you doing to develop the solar? How much am I You're doing a lot of developments in solar. So, Right now we are planning to increase the agriculture area by 2.2 million acres. Uh, that's the plan f as of now. And then we'll move to the next area. So here inside, the small opening we have. So that's Ka. Ka is the um, guardian angel of King Tut and Hamun tomb. So when, when they found the tomb back in 1922, they found a closed room. When they put down the room, they found inside two statues, similar to each other, looking at each other. Uh, one of them is representing the soul of King Tutankhamun, and the other one is representing the body. Uh, and there that's is... A, that's a, a copy, right? That's a copy, yes. It's not the yeah. original one. But in the museum, everything will be there? It will, yes. Actually, the whole collection of King Tutankhamun will be present in the museum for the first time since 1922. Nice. Yeah. Here we have Iron Egypt. So that's a bird's eye view all over Egypt from various places, from the north, from the south, from the delta, um, many different places from the Nile, from Luxor, from Aswan, from Alexandria, and from many other places. Nice. And um, there, there is a lot of development uh, needed, a big population, right? and um, uh, many things happening in all these fields. For yes, yeah, actually the government right now is running many projects and many initiatives uh, for the health and for the population and for reducing the pollution as well. And the screens we have all over the place explaining about many things of these sectors. So that's basically the second floor. Uh, do you need anything else? <laughs> Sorry. Is it even higher? Uh, we only have the restaurant upstairs. Restaurant? Yeah. And uh, on some of these screens, so there are, uh, for example, I saw one uh, uh, right here talking about like airplanes and stuff or so yes this this screen specifically here is talking about the new cities the future cities of Egypt we speak here about um, new Al Alamein we speak here that that's that's like like um, that will be a, a global touristic uh, place that will be on the north coast of Egypt um, so it has eight different platforms on the sea directly on the sea um, we have like the, uh, the the skyscrapers over there will be breathtaking. It's almost done. Um, almost done. Almost done. Yes. It's, this is not graphics as downstairs. It's just almost done. This is the real picture. Uh, we have many other projects here. Uh, we have silo food cities. We have many other projects, mega projects in Egypt. What is the silo foods? A lot of food distribution. Uh, yes. This is like many companies that produce food and good like food goods in Egypt. And that's like a whole big area speaking about, or just like having many fac factories there about the, the food in Egypt. Nice. And uh, th this, these were the airplanes. Uh, so it's Egypt Air or a whole bunch of low cost airlines so it's also? Like the, the videos we are, play we are playing there is different from the screens if, you have, if you'd like to come and take a look here. So we have here this screen speak about the air in Egypt, or just like the aviation companies in Egypt, especially Egypt Air. Egypt Air is the uh, um, government owned 
only company in Egypt uh, for, for aviation. So we have, for example, Cairo International, Cairo International Airport, some of the information about the airport, the size. Um, 28 million passengers per year. Exactly. That's a lot. <laughs> Huge airport. Yes. Especially Egypt is a big country and the tourism. So we have many other things here. Here is the education, as I showed you before here. We speak about the education. We speak about the initiatives in the health sector. Uh, let's have a look there. So we have uh, for women, women's health in Egypt, some of the initiatives uh, for, for the breast cancer just to try to detect it early and make some of the tests uh, for people, for many women in Egypt like to uh, detect All the, the women in Egypt are getting early tests? Oh yeah, that's like, it's, it's the, 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 uh, the initiative itself called One Million Health. So they are taking it like step by step, miles, like milestones. The plan is to have yeah. one million check at a time. And of course, free of charge. Free of charge. Free, free healthcare. Free healthcare. No, not the healthcare. It's just the test. The test. Yeah, the yeah. test. Free. All right. All uh, right. And so these th are all the zones here we have. Would you like to take a look at the restaurant? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Let's yeah, let's just have a look. Is yeah, it Egyptian food? It is. Yes. It's an authentic yeah. Egyptian food. Okay. Let's go up there. Serving. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot. Yeah. To the, to the top chamber of the pyramid. <laughs> so nice. The second floor here is, is divided into two places. That's the restaurant and the other place is the business to business area where we have the officials, the government officials and uh, meetings about the business and like many other things that has to do with the government and the initiatives I have. So this is where you get the best meals out of the expo? Yeah, let me show the menu. Okay. Let me show you the menu. So the whole menu here is just consists of um, Egyptian, authentic Egyptian food, nothing else. Starting from the breakfast to the hot sandwiches uh, to the main dishes. Uh, getting, I'm getting hungry right now. <laughs> I think everybody watching the video too. <laughs> so there's not just hummus. Hummus, yes. <laughs> okay, hummus, sorry. Okay. All right, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. And it's a uh, decent pricing, and people should just come and check it out and uh, enjoy it. Yes. All right, thanks a lot. No problem, thank you. It was an honor. Thank you so much. Thank you.